This is a Peltier cooler, and with it, we can turn fire into electricity. Before we make something fantastic with this, here's how it works. Inside the tile are positive and negatively charged nodes. When the heat hits the bottom, it is diffused and sent out cold on the other end. This process has a lovely side effect of generating electricity, which we can use to power small devices. I've decided I'm going to build a fan powered by the heat of a candle. To start, I yanked a couple heat sinks out of my old computers that were sitting around in the basement. I'll use these to better distribute the incoming heat so we don't destroy the Peltier device. It's best to treat this thing like a computer processor, so I applied some thermal paste to the heat sink and secured it into place. Next, we need to make sure there's room to put the candle under this. So I put four screws directly into the heat sink so it can stand up on its own. Now that that's done, time to grab the second cooler. I had a 1.5 volt hobby motor in my junk drawer as well. I want to use this to spin the fan blade. I pushed the positive and negative wires out the back for later. The fan blade came from a broken USB fan that I had laying around. It should be perfect for this application, so I secured the motor and placed the fan blade onto it. It's a good fit. And now it's time to put this heatsink onto the Peltier cooler. Again, I applied some thermal paste and pressed it into position. Before I run the fan, let's take a look at the power that gets generated. I hooked up my multimeter and put some flame under the heatsink. You can see that the power starts to generate right away. Now we need about one volt to power the motor. And about five minutes after I started, that's when we got there. The sweet spot was hit. Let's hook the wires up and see how this thing goes. Now the fan blade should start spinning on its own, but if not, you can give it a little tap and it'll get going. Think about all the other things you could power using this method. Cell phones, LEDs, even portable speakers. All you need is a heat source and the Peltier device will spit out electricity. The fan is spinning pretty well and I could feel it across the room once it got going. Not to mention the airflow it pulled over the heat sinks helped keep them cooler so it protected the Peltier device from burning out. I'd like to give a huge thanks to our sponsor, Hulu Plus. You've probably tried Hulu.com to watch your favorite shows, but Hulu Plus is much more. You can stream as many shows and movies as you want anytime or anywhere from the living room down to your smartphone or tablet. Household Hacker viewers can try Hulu Plus free for two weeks. You just head over to HuluPlus.com slash household. That's the special offer for our viewers, so make sure you use that specific address, HuluPlus.com slash household. That way you get the extended free trial and they'll also know that we sent you. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.